Ground and Pound TV, Mark Bergmann vor Ort im Kings MMA Gym von Rafael Cordero. Und bei mir steht nun UFC Leichtgewichts Champion Rafael Dos Anjos, der mit uns über seinen anstehenden Kampf sprechen wird gegen Donald Cerrone. Rafael, I just told the viewers you have a fight coming up, uh, your first title defense against Donald Cerrone, a man you know very well. Um, please uh, tell us what you think about the fight, about him as an opponent. Um, you already fought him and you won back then. Um, what, what kind of fight do you expect the second time around? Yeah, we fought two years ago, and I beat here on unanimous decision. But I think since that fight, it was two years ago, we both improved a lot. And so it will be a five rounds fight. But I will make sure I will keep this belt. You know, I've been training hard. It wasn't easy to get my belt, and it will not be easy to take this away from me. Yeah, you just said it would be a five round fight. A couple of weeks ago, you said you wanted to knock him out. Uh, what, what made you change your mind? No, uh, like I go to, I don't, I don't, I don't go to into a fight to do extra, extra rounds. I don't, do, I don't go to do extra hours on the octagon. I go to finish as soon as possible, as soon as I can. But of course, I go to knock him out. But I go with the mentality that I, I have five rounds to fight. So I always go to into a fight like with the game A, B, and C, you know. If anything change, I can take the fight for five rounds. Uh, but I always going, I, I would try push to, to win by knockout or, or submission, you know. I'm trying to, I go, I go for finish. Well, Cerrone has been on a roll in, the, in his last couple of fights, has a lot of wins in a very short amount of time, so he's, uh, he's fighting regularly, he's winning impressively. Um, do you feel that he can pose a bigger threat than he did in, uh, in the last fight? No, I think uh, he is a really tough opponent. He's dangerous. He's good uh, on the ground. He's good standing too. And it's not because I'm a, a UFC lightweight champion, but I think the lightweight division is one of the most competitive division on the show. And, and do what he do, did is like win eight in a row is not easy. Yeah, but uh, I think, man, I, I, I got, I, I've got a good mindset, you know. I think God has been preparing me for all those years, all the last years through the championship. And now I have the belt. Now nobody's going to take this away from me, you know. I think now I, I, I mature. I mentally mature. I, I know my body, like, very well. And I know what, what I want, you know. And this, this belt means a lot for me. And not like he said that he don't give a shit for the belt. And I do, you know, it's how I support my family and it's not this kind of way gonna take my belt away. Now, a couple of days ago, we talked to Anthony Pettis, the man that you beat for the belt. Um, and he told us that he would really love to fight you again. He said uh, if, if that fight would have happened 10 times, he would have won nine times out of it. Basically, he, was, he said it was a fluke. And uh, yeah, what's your take on that? And, and, and would you give him a rematch? Uh, you know, he, he will fight Eddie Alvarez in January, I believe. Uh, should he win that fight? Do you feel he's next to, to, to challenge you again so soon? Man, I think, I think he watched a different fight than everybody else, you know. Uh, I just dominate him for five rounds, and I would say different. I think if we fight ten times, I would win ten times. And and before the fight, he is and his coach was saying that he wasn't the best shape of his life. And then because he, it was good for him get another fight in a row because he's still in shape because he fought Melendez I think three three months ago, and then he fought me and then. He, he and his coach say in the main interview that it's good for him because he's gonna keep in shape, you know. And after fight, he said that's that's not help. This is not helping him get another fight right right away. And it's kind of confused, you know. And but I think if I fight him ten times, I would be here ten times. Do you think he should be the next one facing you if he beats Alvarez? And and considering that if you beat uh, Cerrone? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He's uh, he's one of the top guys on the division. He's a former champion, but whatever. If if he come, McGregor, Khabib, who else come? I will make sure I will keep this belt. Yeah, you mentioned two names already. What what about Khabib Nurmagomedov? Should should he get the next shot at you if he wins uh, in his comeback fight in December? Because he's the last man to beat you. Yeah, uh, but I don't know. Maybe. 
uh, he's he has a fight for a while, and uh, but whatever UFC decide, I'll be ready. And it's that rematch that I want to, you know, it's well, on my last 10, 10 fights, I just had one loss for him. He got me on a bad day, you know, I had a bad night. Uh, I'm really sure on the next opportunity, not, it's not going to happen. But he was better that day, but I'm the champion right now. My focus is on Cerrone. Whoever come next, I, I will make sure uh, this belt will remain with me. You mentioned uh, Conor McGregor, and of course we have to get a bit deeper into this. He's a man who is making a lot of waves right now, also in the lightweight division, even if he's not even fighting in the lightweight division. Uh, there was a big press conference where uh, you know he he you ch exchange a few words. He said he would change your quote unquote bum life uh, by by uh, giving you a fight. Um, do you think this is all talk, or do you believe that he will really make the step into the lightweight division and and, and can really succeed there? I don't think he can succeed if, even on a featherweight division. He's not he's not beating the top guys. And you know? who would this guy beat? And he fought Danny Silva, which was a top 15, and he got a title shot against Jose Aldo. How about Frank Erga? How about uh, Chad Mendes on a good shape? He got a 10 days notice. And how about you know Jeremy Steven? How about Cobb Swanson? All those top guys of the division. Uh, even Charles Oliveira, the Brazilian, would kill him. Uh, man, but whatever. If he he got a he got a he got a big mouth. He talk well for the people. You know, he's a comedian guy, and he's bring a lot of media to him. And if he wanna if he wanna come to lightweight division, I will be here and make sure I will smash him. Should he beat Aldo? Should he be allowed to go directly to lightweight and, and face the champion? Yeah, I think I think if he beat Aldo, which I think is really hard, but if he does, I will be happy to welcome him. If UFC want to make this fight happen, I will be happy to welcome him. Thank you very much for doing this. You're welcome.